Come on, man. <laughs> Are we done? Are we done yet? <laughs> no. Are you? Hey, what's up? It's Luis with America's Best Restaurants, and we travel the country coast to coast to find the places where you need to eat at on a weekly basis. And look, if you're new here, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you know whenever we drop a new episode. And if you've been with us for a while, hey, I really, really appreciate it. We can't do this without you guys. And today we are in Lewisburg, West Virginia, at a restaurant called Stardust Cafe. Now, don't let the name fool you because the dishes that they're putting out here, they're absolutely unbelievable. Like they have their famous curry chicken. I can't even describe to you how unbelievable that dish is. We're gonna talk to my guy, Dan, who's the owner, and we're gonna see a few other items that are definitely gonna make your mouth water. So look, why don't you come with me and let's go check out what's so special about Stardust Cafe. Dude, I love this place. All right. This is awesome. <laughs> glad you like it, man. Welcome. Yeah, Thank we're so you. glad to have you. Thank you. This is fantastic. You know, the little downtown area and mm -hmm. everything, how we how we pulled up. This is very, very warm. Yes. That reception there. Very, I've very unique out. area right yeah. here in southern West Virginia. Yeah, yeah it's we fantastic, really like it. man. It's yeah. fantastic. Well, we're so happy to have you. We got a lot going on. We got some yeah. cool stuff to show you. Oh yeah, what do you got? Well, right here we have some appetizers okay. to start out with. Awesome, thank you so much. Absolutely. So thank this you. here, we okay. have our um, award-winning tomato basil bisque. Award-winning tomato basil bisque. Yes, sir. Okay, so talk to me. So that is made with all organic and natural ingredients. Um, you know, we make that oh, wow. in-house just about every day because we go through so much, we got to keep up with it. Um, but that is a proprietary recipe and uh, I like that, how you said that. <laughs> that I is, like how you said that. That is uh, a local wow. favorite. We uh, we constantly get a lot, a lot of, um, you know, people coming through specifically for our soup. Um, you know, this is a little different because I've, I've had tomato bits before, mm -hmm. but I welcome the, the pieces of tomato you have in here. Mm -hmm. Never had it like that before. The seasoning is Perfect, man. Oh, thank I you. like how it's nice and creamy. It's got body to it. Yes. You know, yes. this is outstanding. I can understand <laughs> why it's award winning. Mm -hmm. This is outstanding. Well, thank you and so much. <laughs> the flavor is explosive. Oh my God. It's unbelievable, man. I absolutely understand mm -hmm. now. Oh, well, thank why you. Why it's award winning. It's getting my award. I'll tell you that right now. Okay. So and after then, that, we have this? our uh, tuna tartare. Now okay. that is um, wild caught tuna um, that we get uh, just about every week. Now that is served with organic avocado, organic mangoes. And then on top we have something really special. And that is a 14 hour cured egg yolk that we brulee. This? Yes. So it's gonna be a gummy consistency with a uh, lightly runny oh, wow. center with that. Check this out. Yeah, with that wow. uh, that crispy, yeah. sugary top. So it's wow. both salty, that. sweet, and delicious. Wow, okay, hold on, let me see. Wow. Mm -hmm. So what made you put that there? Because I've never seen an egg, kind of made like candy, kind of. Right. I've never seen that before. Well, it was something we were playing around wow. with and uh, we just had the wild idea one day that we wanted to brulee it and uh, we wanted to do a cured egg, you know, on tartars, a lot of times, um, you know, you'll get like quail eggs and things of that variety. And um, we don't really have access to a lot of quails. Now that is from a local farm uh, right here called Somost, Hem uh, he Somost Heaven um, here in uh, the Greenbrier Valley. And, um, you know, all our eggs are completely organic and we wanted to put that cured egg on there. And then we just kind of were kicking around ideas and came up with the brulee idea. And we were like, you know, nobody else is doing anything like that. So we want it to be different. It's <laughs> knocked it out of the park, both of them. 
I love the freshness of the tuna, whatever that mm -hmm. seasoning. I feel like it's got a little bit of soy or something it's like that in there. got a ponzu, house-made ponzu, ponzu okay. sauce on it. Ponzu. I mean, it's beautiful. That egg blew my mind because <laughs> I've never seen it like that before. And the flavor, all the flavors work very, very well yeah. together, man. Wow. It's so far, <laughs> two home runs. Well, I'm glad you're liking it. We got more to show you. Man, let me see if we can keep it going. But I know you got a couple of other things in the kitchen, right? I do. All right. Well, let's go into the kitchen. Let's go I'm check it show out. You. All right, so we've clearly had a change of wardrobe, not really. So we have here Chef Jared. So, Chef, I'm gonna help you make something. In the yes, kitchen. sir. Okay, so what are we making? We're making Italian Riviera clam pasta. Italian Riviera clam pasta. Sign sir. me up, let's go. <laughs> What's the first step? What do we have to start off? We're gonna chop up some salami. Okay, how do you typically chop it up? Like about so, a quarter inch? What do you, what do you yeah, typically we'll do? do? You know, let me see this. Here. We're gonna take all the slice and okay. then we're gonna cut it into like tiny little cubes. Gotcha, gotcha. So about like that. Perfect. Like that and then just cube it up? And then, yes sir. Okay. Exactly. Perfect. That'll do. Something like that, okay. We'll get that chunk done and we'll cut up some of these, half some of these cherry tomatoes. Like so. Okay. Throw those in here, actually. Line this up. Are you getting this, Austin? <laughs> okay. Oh, it looks great. Go. Cool. Excellent. Just want to make sure it's somewhat accurate. Yeah, no. And the uh, cute. You look the, like you know what you're doing a little bit. I tried to. <laughs> actually, that's probably good right there. That's good? Yes, okay, sir. fantastic. We'll take that. We'll throw it in the little container there. Okay. I'm not that confident. Oh, I'm gonna good. dump it over the, over the edge, you know what I mean? Oh, good. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's gorgeous. That's gonna kind of cook up crisp size? up. Yeah. Okay, good. We're gonna put it in after we're cooking okay. it up. Fantastic. And then if you could just do some put those. Lots of halves. halves. Yep. Okay. That's all we need there. I'll give you another little container okay. for that. Let the grill. Just make sure that you can get this. Excellent. One more. Grab us okay. some bread here too. All right. So we got this. What else we got? Uh, it's going to come with some uh, grilled filet bread on the side. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get a couple pieces of that ready. And we won't put this down quite yet. We're just getting it all set up. All right. So filet. This is fun. I love this. Tomato. Super fun. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now we're gonna get to the clams. Oh boy. Here so we go. Carefully slice that open. Okay. <laughs> Chinchi first. Bring it to a clean pot. Okay. So we gotta go over here. All yes, right. sir. Put it in the pot. And you gotta wait for them to open up, right? Yeah. So we're gonna. Do you typically, when you cook it, do you do you cover them or do you just watch until they open? Uh, we'll cover them up for a minute. Cover them. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna start throw a little bit of onions now, and garlic in there. What is the up. What is the purpose of covering? It? To steam. Okay. The steam. And the steam will help them open up That's faster? It. Okay. Otherwise, you'll overcook them. Yeah? yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got it. And then, you know, you just got to make sure they're all cooked up. Obviously, sometimes they won't open. You got to make sure okay. that they're all getting open before you start. Okay. Oh, we got some olive oil going. We're going to just get it started off real quick. You want to get him tight in here so you can see what's in there? Or not? Because he got <laughs> Just for <laughs> a second. We're going to throw this uh, sausage on the grill. Okay. All right. Let that start crisping up. Those will go on later. Okay. Those go on. They'll pretty much just make their own grease. Pop around. <laughs> yeah, see, they got those working up a little bit. So, we're going to crank it up a little bit. And this is our Bourbonk. We make it in the house. Okay, it's, we're gonna get uh, into that later, right? How to make the bourbon? So. Fantastic, I love it. It's pretty much a wine, lemon, cream okay. sauce, red onion, cook it down. Oops, oh, sorry. Okay, we have a man overboard. Roll overboard. <laughs> we go with a scoop of this in here. Go with one more. 
probably a couple scoops usually does it. You don't want it to cook down too much. You want to keep a lot of the sauce in there for the pasta. Okay. And that's the main cover for the covering it up too. Is you don't use too much sauce to leaves it open. Gotcha, gotcha. So that going. Crank it up, put a little salt in it. All right. All right. And it'll just kind of go for a minute. Okay. You can mess with our Very cool. so now salami. we're crisping this up right here? Yes, sir. Okay. Toss that around. See, that's a local sausage too we get from a swift level. Let's see. Save those, we can go and put some bread down, get it crisp, crisping over here. So good, spicy. I'm not that Keeps fast cutting, warm. right? But what, what, am I higher? Yeah. If it's a slow so. time, okay, very good. I appreciate it. Compared to some of the stuff I've seen, I, I, think I you're, appreciate it. <laughs> you're all. Now, if you need an onion, that's a different story. Because I'm pretty fast at that. Oh, you're better yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well. We, dude, all I need is a sharp knife. You can, you can prep my. Can you can prep my block next time. It takes quite a few onions. Or our onion jam. Our onion jam does. Well, How many onions does it typically take for the bourbon? Actually, that one's only about four. Four? How do you so, typically slice them? Just like you can slice, you're gonna strain it out at the end. You don't keep the onions in it. So what? I usually just do like a thin slice, kind of like your salad onions. Okay. Let that cook up. Put in the. Uh, let's see, you go with your wine. We'll chop some onions yeah, we'll later. Go with that. Yeah. Awesome. Guess we're gonna go over that. Yeah, anyway. Sounds good. It's nice. We've been making it kind of the same for. I've been here almost four years, I guess. We've kept that recipe the same. Fantastic. Everybody seems to really like it. We tried to take it off the menu one time. They, oh, really? Yeah, no. everybody's like, nope. That's Nobody the one was thing happy, right? <laughs> um, let me get a little lemon over here, actually. Okay. You should put a little squeeze of lemon juice in here once it gets going. See how we got it. Everything's opening up. Oh, looking yeah. nice. Yep. That's nice. Let me get a little, little lemon. Stir. That's coming along well. We can probably start working on our tomatoes. And get our bread flipped. Okay. And then we'll probably give it a little crush. Nice. <laughs> a little salt on everything. Okay. You know, why not? You don't want to cook them up too much. Right. They turn to mush. So let's kind of keep them on there for a second. Get them warm. Just a quick little dip in the hot. Yeah. Just a little bit, right? Nothing worse than a just mushy tomato. Right. Sit these here for a moment. And I think it's time to go put some pasta in the pasta. Okay. So come here. Oh yeah. Nice. So we're gonna open my bread up. So you get a little pasta going. Oh, very nice. <laughs> and from there, we're almost ready. We'll stir. So this will take a, what a couple minutes for the pasta yeah, to get, be ready. Hit it with a hit and then of we'll be ready to plate. I'm gonna cover this up. We're gonna get that bread off and get our plate together and by then it'll be pretty nice. much ready to go. All right, got bread. Okay. Um, let's make sure we have, and we're gonna need a little slice of lemon and some parsley, which we've got down there at the end. Right here, we got yes, some sir. parsley for you, chef. There right. we go. Well, you still have two bowls, they got clams. You need one for shells, obviously. Okay, right. So we'll get down here. Go ahead and toss the sausage in there. Oh. I'm putting this right here. That mixed in. All right. From there, oh yeah, it's getting kind of creamy with that Parmesan in there. Thickening up a little bit. Oh my God. So, let's take that. Oh uh, yeah, sausage, clams. Mm. Wow. All right. Come 
here, we'll hit it with these tomatoes. Okay. Screw them around. That looks so amazing. <laughs> A little more Parmesan. Take our bread. Just sit it up. Lemon slice, parsley. Okay. That's fantastic. And Italian Riviera clam pasta. Boom. There you have it. Check that out. <laughs> Oof. I would eat it right now, but Austin's got to shoot some footage of it. So we'll be eating it momentarily. There we go. Thank Enjoy. you, Chef. I appreciate Enjoy. it. It's fantastic. <laughs>
people popping that door. Oh, what's, what's cooking? What's cooking? How about, you know, let me ask you this. How often do people just kind of hang by the so window much, and they just so mesmerize? <laughs> there were some people doing it just a minute ago, yeah. actually. I don't know if you know so. Do they, do they but, ever um, kind of stand by the window and watch yeah, you for like yeah. 10, 20 minutes? Oh, yeah. Really? They'll sit there, they'll like hand signal, talk to me <laughs> through the window and just <laughs> knock on the window. <laughs> That's cool. Know, being, That's it's cool. interesting. I like it. That's cool. Here we used to have some tables set up outside here too. Oh really? And so the people here that were eating, look up. I'm just cooking right over top right. of them. Yeah. All right. So see, they're getting kind of right, yep. getting kind of softer. Yep. Yeah. So now so, we're gonna hit it with the white that's wine. That's what we're looking for. So we get the wine. Just hit it with that. Four cups. That's fantastic. Now that we're gonna let that get up to boiling. Okay. And then we're gonna reduce it back down real quick. Gotcha. And that'll take probably five minutes. So boiling and then you're gonna put it back down, kind of like a simmer? Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. And then we'll let it reduce, you know, half an inch in the pot, I guess. Okay. And then we'll hit it with the cream, let it do the same thing. When does the lemon juice come into play? It'll go with the cream. Gotcha. Next step. So now we wait about five minutes or so? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yes, sir. Cool, fantastic. So a lot of just watching it cook. There you go. <laughs> this is the fun part. Wait till you open that lid though. It smells. Pop that open. And with the magic Draw of editing, <laughs> right? With the magic of editing, five minutes. <laughs> okay, so with the magic of editing, five minutes has elapsed. So what do we got, Chef? We got our wine has reduced just enough. Okay. Let's get down there, going real strong. We're gonna add some lemon juice. How much lemon juice is that? That's 10 lemons. Okay, 10 lemons. Oh, that's right, we talked about that earlier. <laughs> There's too much stuff happening. As a matter of fact, Tickets and stuff coming in, so we're just kind of cutting into the middle. <laughs> I'm chef doing his job, so you can show me how to do this. Okay. So now we put the lemon, we cover it, lemon we're gonna, juice. We're gonna grab some cream that's going okay. in on top of that. All right. And then that's gonna be pretty much the same deal as the wine. We're gonna let it okay. go down. Okay. So take a few so minutes. How much cream do we put in? Be one bite. The whole thing? There we go. Okay. One quart, sorry. One quart. And that's gonna cook down. Like I said, about half inch in the pot. Right, so that's about 20 minutes or so? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cream takes a little while, like I said, you don't want to cook it too fast. Right. The cream will definitely okay. burn. You get that going. Yeah, the onions are turning a real nice pink. Yep. It's a very pretty nice. color. That's the one thing about the pickled onions. Nice. Your um, onions the in onions, general, yeah. but we make the pickled onions here as right. well. And they come out that pretty pink on top of your burger and just right. gorgeous. gorgeous. So now you essentially let so, the sauna, yep. you cover the sauna, do you, we'll you cover it or do you leave it uncovered? I usually cover it. Cover it? Until it starts going and then I'll cover and check it for the last little bit. Okay. So how about, but, how, about how much time after putting in your cream and covering it do you let it? Just still the 20 minutes or so? Or do you check it in about 15? I'll check it in about 10 or 15. Okay. Okay. Fair and enough. And then see how it's doing. Maybe you have to go for another about 10. Okay. But we'll go from there. Awesome. So then from there, <laughs> the sauce is going to be done. We'll show you the finished product. I appreciate yeah, you. It's going to be good. Chef, and I'm going to let you get back to cooking. Thank you, sir. Okay, Chef, so you told me the 20 minutes has elapsed. Yes. For the for the sauce, for the Verblanc. So we're basically ready, right? Yeah. Okay, so what's the next we're step? We're going to take it. We do reuse all our containers we get. That's we awesome. like to reuse everything. We're just going to take it. We're going to strain the onions out from, from earlier. Got it. So, so it's looking like now. Okay. Okay. And would you, you want to, um, would you like to hold the strainer for me? Sure. Yeah. Go like this. Do that. Here. I'll just down it down in there. And then we'll just kind of, sometimes I can do it without getting too many. Got it. Over a little bit right there. Excellent. Oh, right. Move this out of the way. All right. Got this okay. onion, so this back in the pot. Um, from there, pretty much have your ending. We grab our butter. We did a block and a half of butter. So how much butter do you add? Pound and a half. Pound and a half, but you add it slowly and you so stir you it. So you kind of chunk it up. Okay. And then you just drop, you know, a handful in, okay. and then you gotta stir. It. Let that melt. Okay. And then once that melts, you'll do another handful. Stir it, so forth and so forth. Okay. Until you're to the desired consistency where you're out of butter. And that's it. You're all done, and right? And you've never bought You can put Fantastic. it on any kind of sauce or uh, pastas, fishes, whatever you like, really. Fantastic. Well, I appreciate it, Chef. And Thank again, you. you can find the recipe below. Thanks again, Chef. Thank really, you, sir. really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Awesome. <laughs> 
so in regards to the entrees, you said, oh, let me have a few entrees, right? We got to start with this guy. What is happening here, first of all? So this is called the local burger specifically okay. because it is made with local beef. This is grass fed beef that uh, was farm raised literally like a couple miles north of town here. Really? Um, and actually the woman, uh, Jennifer Tootie Jones, who she raises all the cattle herself, she also butchers it all herself. Uh, she's an amazing lady and uh, we are so honored to feature her meat. But okay. um, so this is so the be, local burger. Why don't you go ahead and cut it for me, please? Let me cut that Might open. be a little bit better at doing this than I am right now. I don't <laughs> want it to be all over the place. Because that, that looks amazing. Left-handed. Watch it, folks. See? Bambi. Oh. Okay. All right. So let's see what we got. That's all the got way it? through. I don't think we got it. Let's see. Maybe. Yeah, stick? there we go. There it is. Okay. You're going to take a bite of this with me, right? Oh, yeah. Look at this. Dude, that bread. Whoa, what is happening with this bread? So we get all of our bread from a uh, local baker named Jeff's Breads. Oh my God. Okay, I get, we're gonna take a bite of this. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Mm. Okay. That bag is unbelievable. I love the onions, the egg. And then you got arugula in here too, tomatoes, right? So yeah, we do a spring mix, mm. um, locally grown oh tomatoes. God. We do a jalapeno mayo and uh, caramelized onions and uh, provolone cheese, and then a soft, soft cooked egg. <laughs> hey, you know what? And I can't say that I've ever had a burger on these breads, but unbelievable. I'm a big fan of like brioche, because it holds the burger, mm -hmm. but this is not breaking. Whoever the baker is, a genius. And you are a double genius. You should get the Nobel Prize because you chose this bread because this is phenomenal. Mm. 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 Just the flavor, the onions are perfect. The egg, everything is so harmonious together. Man, this is a phenomenal bread. Phenomenal bread. Wow. Oh my gosh. Mm. Now I want you to try that uh, potato too because okay. that is our truffle smashed potato. The what? Uh oh, that's really why. Did you say truffle smashed potato and I feel a little bouncy ball? Yep. Truffle smashed potato. <laughs> okay, why truffle smashed potato? So we cook it in truffle oil with salt, pepper. We top it with a little Parmesan cheese and then fresh oh green God. onions. Wow, that's really good. Yeah. You can really taste the the truffle, it really comes through. It's mm -hmm. very, very prominent in the dish, but it's not overwhelming. Right. That is different. Very it's, different. It's kind of like a take on, you know, you see truffle fries at a lot of places. So we wanted to kind of bring that to, you know, a little bit more of an elegant it's style. It's different. It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Blown away. <laughs> what about this guy? What do we have here? Because this so, is gorgeous. I don't even want to eat it. I mean, what is right. this? Look at this. That wow. is a staple of Stardust Cafe. Okay. That is the Forever Curry Chicken. And we call it the Forever Curry Chicken because it's forever gonna be on our menu. I mean, it is just amazing. So have people threatened that if you take this off the menu? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Uh, when we purchased the place, you know, definitely had some locals and some uh, fans come through and say, you know, do not touch that and a couple other things. Okay. So. Truffle curry chicken. Let me try this and, and see what I can taste. Oh my God. Has a coconut base, yes? Little coconut. Mm -hmm. It's got um, mango wow. and yellow curry and um, a little cream to kind of flush it out. And then- There's uh, something else in the back end. Well, we top it with uh, the basil, the parm. Oh we do our herbed um, basmati rice. Oh my God. We make a uh, house-made um, red pepper jelly that's on top there, as well as our house pickled uh, red peppers. This sauce, just the color of it is unbelievable. This bright <laughs> yellow that lights up the room, mm -hmm. 
then you got that contrast with the parsley. I mean, oh my dude, this is insane. <laughs> now I understand why people would riot. Yeah. If you get rid of this, because that curry is, is unbelievable. Wow. That is a oh uh, very big seller. Um, not very many places around here to get good curries. I've never um, seen this. And that one is a unique take on it, that's mm. for sure. You get you the know, sweet, you get the spice, you know, you get all of that kind of combined together and it's just an explosion of flavor. It is outstanding. Outstanding. Typically curries I see kind of like in soup based mm -hmm. form, not like this. Yes. I almost want to put this on the burger. <laughs> right. Or chicken wings. Yeah, you could. That is outstanding. I can understand why. We run specials on oh occasion God, and we'll dude. do uh, like Crostini's, um, little things like that with, with it. That? So, yes. Thank you. <laughs> do you make a toothpaste with this <laughs> if only <laughs> Dude, this, is, this is outstanding thank you and i've never had this anywhere else so this That's, is very yes, unique very unique very style unique. of curry for sure oh my god austin who's behind the camera <laughs> i'll tell you right now you have to try this it's unbelievable mm. I think that's the worst part for Austin because he'd be on the camera seeing me right. eat this food. <laughs> he just drooling the whole time oh, watching yeah. you eat. <laughs> that was so funny. Okay, and then this one that I was helping chef prepare, helping in air quotes, right? We have the double bowls for your shells there, but this is our um, Italian Riviera clam pasta. Okay. And that is um, Vietnamese clam served over linguine with. Um, salami uh blistered tomatoes and uh our house bird blanc sauce that uh you got to make with chef jared oh dude that was super fun <laughs> super fun i just told chef just tell me what you want me to do okay i need these onions like this cut some lemons for okay whatever you want oh yeah he ain't shy mm. that is so fresh those clams are perfect man. Those clams are really oh, nice Tomatoes. The block is nice and light, but it's got great flavor. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I'm in heaven right now. <laughs> I think the new name for heaven is Stardust Cafe. There That's you all go. Free. I'll take it. <laughs> it's phenomenal. I mean, I don't know what else you have in the menu right off the top of my head, but I can promise you this. It's outstanding. Whatever else you have to make. Well, that's one thing is we take great pride in everything we do. So if it's not outstanding, we don't want to sell it. And this is so different than anything I've ever had in any other restaurant. Right. So this not only is a memorable experience, but also it's definitely a recommendation that I'm going to be like, hey, if I'm in Louisville, go here. Start off there. <laughs> that's what you're going to have to go to. Thank you. And anything you can get, especially this right here, I'm very impressed. Right. Baby, everything is fantastic, but I've never seen this before. <laughs> it's outstanding, man. Wow. That's oh one thing God. we pride ourselves on is being different, you know. Oh my we God. want to stick out from the pack and we want to do things our way. It's absolutely outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. But you also have some desserts coming, right? I do believe we have some desserts coming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, our desserts are also made uh, by a local baker and they are just outrageous. They are so flavorful. They use all local ingredients. Um, we also do, you know, a big thing with the restaurant is we do gluten-free, uh, vegan and vegetarian options. So we also have feature that with our desserts. Yeah. Okay, so I know she was in the beginning of the episode. We didn't introduce her. This is Savannah. Hi. Dan's <laughs> wife, Savannah, thank you so much. Yes, Appreciate it. Okay, so what do we have here? So this is our pumpkin spice creme brulee. Okay, my next question is gonna be why? <laughs> <laughs> it's that time of year, you know, you gotta put pumpkin spice in everything. Right. Okay, so let's see what we got here. This is gorgeous, I mean, look at this. Oh my God, come on. Look at this. <laughs> I'm like, I gotta get in on this one. Come on, man. You are a bad influence, sir, but I like you a lot. <laughs> Oh my God. Mm. I love that layer of the sugar. Mm -hmm. Nice and crystallized. Flavor like creme brulee is insane. Oh my God. 
do you do you make any other kinds kinds of creme brulees that are seasonal? Uh, yeah, we actually we just did a um, a chai uh, creme brulee. What? So something a little different, probably never had. Um, but taking the spices from like chai tea and uh, utilizing those in our um, the pudding for the creme brulee. Okay, well, hold on a second. Where do these ideas come from? <laughs> like I said, we uh, we pride ourselves on being different. I like how you're so modest. <laughs> okay. And then we have, what is this guy right so here? So this is a classic for Stardust Cafe. Okay. And it is a staple. Okay. It is what we call the sticky toffee pudding. It is a English date cake. And then that is smothered in toffee sauce and you know, heated to perfection, serve with some whipped cream, and that's all you need. It is a caramel, caramel it is. delight. It is. Come on, man. <laughs> Are we done? Are we done yet? <laughs> no. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. These are just different desserts. Now, of course, I've had creme brulee before, but I've never had pumpkin mm -hmm. spice creme brulee. And this, dude, come on, man. Oh my God. Look at this. Austin, are you seeing this? Look at this. Oh, it's like a cloud of flame. That's yes. really what it is. Light, fluffy, but still it's got that, that you know, that real kind of heavy sauce. So it balances out perfectly. It's, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. The flavor is <laughs> outstanding. I don't know, man. If you were in baseball, you would never, nobody could beat you. Let's just be real. This is outstanding. Oh my God. Wow, look, I gotta tell everybody, everything I've th tried here today is absolutely outstanding. I'm gonna tell you right now, this restaurant is 1000%, without a doubt, <laughs> certified legit. I am just completely wrong with all, everything. I'm glad I mean, we just, could do that. The, what you're putting out here, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable, at, just at the level and also the creativity, mm -hmm. because these dishes, I've never really seen anything like this. Right. It, it's phenomenal. Now, where can people find you online? So we are at stardustcafewv.com, okay. um, as well as on Facebook under Stardust Cafe WV. But yeah, if you're ever in Southern West Virginia, you gotta stop by and see us. I highly encourage you. Don't don't say if you ever. No, you need to come. <laughs> I don't care if you're in Alaska, Texas, all direction, Lewisburg, West Virginia. Come here because the food is absolutely outstanding. And make sure that of course you like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and you can also find a full listing for them on AmericasBestRestaurants.com. And I wish you were here with me mm -hmm. so you can try this food. But I know that you believe me when I tell you this. It's certified legit, so you need to come here. Try food. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I've completely been blown away. I love your restaurant. I promise you I'll be back. No, please because do. Because this is, this is outstanding. Look, I'm going to get a little bit of this. And I am saving some for Austin. I was going to say, that's the <laughs> defining factor when you go back for that the, the second oh. and third. Well, you see what I said, Austin Davis' eyebrows. You can't see him when he's behind the camera. But his eyebrows raised. So, look. We're going to sign off. We're going to see you guys on the next one.